Hello, I'm Ricky and I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to make laser beam bounces on the cheap. However, here's a quick health and safety warning. Okay, I thought I'd give you a very quick laser health and safety uh, video. Basically, lasers, they're not toys, they are, they're quite dangerous and this particular laser is quite powerful. Now, um, you might wanna do your show with a laser pen um, in which case you can't actually use the software but I wanted to point this out because um, these these mirrors they're only plastic the ones I'm using um, and in, in hindsight I should have bought glass mirrors because um, I had this laser on a very low power while I was setting up the beam bounces around the room and look what happened I had to take one of these down because can you see very small indents in the mirror and this particular one I had on for too long and look what happened yeah it actually burned a hole in the mirror on both sides so you have to be very very careful with lasers um, I obviously turned the lasers down to really low power after after that. And also, uh, be careful of your eyes because you don't want this happening to your eye. So, you know, when you're setting up the these mirror bounces, make sure that you're not in eyesight, in line eyesight of the laser beams. And also, I really highly recommend buying laser safety glasses before setting up your bounces. Okay, so this is a quick video and a bit of an experiment really. Tomorrow, um, I'm having a house party. So basically, um, the idea is, I've got a laser here and some software, and I've only got a tiny little room. Um, and obviously, that laser is gonna be um, a bit bright in here, so I'm gonna turn down the laser but I'm not gonna get a lot of reach. So the idea is I want to create a, a bounce effect around here um, and maybe hit on the mirror ball here um, without having to spend a fortune on uh, those you know, expensive mirror bounces that um, you use in professional setups and clubs and festivals and whatnot. So I'm gonna make some really cheap uh, mirror bounces that will hopefully just bounce around this room and create a nice effect. So here we have uh, all the pieces I'm going to use to try and make my very cheap mi uh, laser mirror bounces basically. So um, I looked online I couldn't really find the exact bits and the actual proper laser bounce mirrors with proper mirrors and and all of the rest of it is that they're actually quite expensive so for this house party i'm doing tomorrow i've decided to make my own so i bought a whole load of these which are blind spot mirrors two in a pack um they look like that and the the reason i've got those ones is because they've got a swivelly bottom on them which is really handy so I can stick one side on the wall the other side to the mirror and angle them where I want them to go um, the problem with the uh, blind spot mirrors is they've got a convex kind of edge on them and I want them to be straight otherwise the laser won't be as sharp and go in the right direction so I've bought a pile of flat mirrors uh, they've got a, a cover on them to, get, to protect them but that's, that's okay and um, I've also bought a load of these glasses and the idea is that I'm going to bounce around the room a few times and occasionally I'll hit a mirror and I'll stick that on, you know, I'll, I'll pull it apart, take out the plastic, which you can just about see is, uh, makes a nice kind of star effect, I guess. I don't know if you can see properly, but when the laser hits that, uh, and bounce it and reflects back off the mirror it should hopefully reflect and create a starburst effect from from that so 
There we go. Cheap budget laser bounce mirrors. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. I just want to quickly show you this one. Um, this was my first attempt. I made a bit of a mistake because I, I thought that the mirror would go on the flat small side. So I stuck on the sticker, put it on there, and then quickly realised actually if I was to stick this side to the wall, it's going to be crooked. Um, it's because it's round. Um, and also I think it'd be neater if there was less less surface on the wall i guess so anyway i tried to pull it off and it's just made a big mess so i'm going to leave that one to one side and um if i need it i'll use it but otherwise i'll probably discard that one okay after the last one i figured this time round let's do one together so this is my blind spot mirror pack take out the parts give you the link to where I got these from. There's uh, quite a few of them on eBay and Amazon or whatever. Um, I've got these on eBay, but there you go. So this is the uh, the top that sticks to the mirror. Uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's a concave or it's a convex mirror, a concave on the inside, which is why that is also con convex to go with the concave. Um, so it might not be perfectly flat on there, uh, but it will do for this purpose. Uh, like I said, it's not professional, it's just for a house party. So this is your, your, your ball and uh, is your pivot. So they go together. Uh, this flat small side will stick on the wall using one of these stickers. And the large side will stick to the mirror, the flat mirror, uh, for the lasers to bounce off of. Um, I won't stick on the this stuff yet. I'll have a go at that a bit later on. I'm going to experiment with the flat mirrors first. So that's that part. So I just need to take off these. Only one side for now because obviously I want to stick it. I want to stick it on the wall when I need to use it. So just do one side for now, and the other side take the sticky side stick it off put it in the middle that would be okay there peel off the top and try and get as much in the middle of the mirror as possible um, around about there okay stick it on nice tight now once again this is not a professional solution for a club or something it's only for a house party, but it will hopefully do the trick. Now, you don't know, see there is a there's a film on the mirror. Um, I, mean, I could wait till I put them up, really, but for now, that I peel that off. You can see. A bit tricky. I'm going the nails. that'll be nice and shiny for the mirror for the lasers there we go 27 um, complete mirror bounces uh, I didn't put any of the uh, diffraction glass on yet but I'm gonna try that later on once I get the laser set up obviously I've got a whole stack of spare bits and pieces that were originally inside the packet but yeah look at that they will be great. So here we go. I've um, I've set up those beam bounces on my my software, and they put dots along here when I'm in like just test mode. And then I stuck the these this row of mirrors here uh, along those dots, and then coming like then I've angled all of these mirrors. And coming off of those mirrors uh, are the reflections. So where, wherever those those mirrors landed, or wherever you aim them, I've put another mirror. So it's going in the other direction. Um, there's mirrors along here, mirrors along here, all the way around the room. 
uh, even one over the back there somewhere, yeah. So yeah, mirrors all the way around. Um, some of them, so like on the third bounce, so it goes one, uh, two, for example, and then the third bounce, I'm using the mirror ball here. Uh, by that time, they, they, they'll be diffused um, and I'm still trying to have them up in the air, away from people's faces, but yeah, it should be a, should be a good party this tonight. Looking forward to it. Okay, so this is the software I'm using. It's called Pangolin Beyond. You um, you don't have to use Beyond. You can use uh, Quick Show or there's plenty of other laser softwares out there, but this is the one I use. Um, and in here, I've set up uh, nine beam bounces here. Nine beam bounces. And you can set the location of each one uh, in there, which I have done. And um, obviously when you're doing this, you, you need to turn down the power so you don't blind yourself or anybody else. So um, yeah, so I've, I've done that. And later on, I will set up some chases for those and some colors and things, but for now that's okay. You, you, you.